second and third coital sudation is S2. To characterize, of course, in all points you, you, you see, you hear two sounds, but only one you characterize. Extra sounds, as for basic sounds, you say about loudness, normal loudness, increase it or decrease it, and you say about splitting, present or absent. For extra sounds, you just say if they are present or absent, if present, which extra sounds are present. And for marmos, we describe it in the following manner. If you hear any marmo in the cardiovascular system, you must answer to 3.5 questions. 3.5 questions. First, systolic or diastolic? Second, the place, the point of better auscultation. Third, radiation of the marmor. Every student is able to answer to these three questions. In addition, you may be able, but it needs uh, skill and experience. In addition, you may be able to characterize additional characteristics like timber or pitching high pitching, low pitching, or a form, crescendo, decrescendo, increasing, decreasing murmur, or uh, stable loudness, or um, decreasing with presystolic increasing. You can describe the timing of the murmur, uh, holosystolic, middle systolic, late systolic, early systolic, early diastolic, mid-diastolic, pre-systolic. So all the things you, or it can increase or decrease through uh, breathing, or can be constant, inconstant, mild or hard. You can, you can characterize the loudness of marmos according to the scale of six um, grades. Did you discuss in the lecture six grades? Okay. So all these additional characteristics, they are all welcome to be characterized. But three absolutely important answers must be done. For this patient, <coughs> not very clear. Uh, did you? Did you? Uh, was you uh, uh, somewhere uh, diagnosed for a heart failure? <laughs> for some cardiac, uh, cardiac trouble? No, never. Uh, actually, uh, almost normal uh, conclusion, but on the ethics first sound is not absolutely clean <coughs> and I think uh, it, it is not absolutely sure but I think there is inconstant <coughs> historic marble on the epics <laughs> this is relatively often that we hear marmos especially in young patients this is often so one uh, from one side there it can be uh, congenital disorders of the heart. They were not di diagnosed before. Secondary, there are some innocent marmos possible, as you know. And this is not 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 uh, seldom, especially on the apex. The mitral valve prolapse is a very common situation in the heart for systolic marmos. But this systolic marm is very unconstant. I. I was able to hear them maybe 
three or two or three times uh, during the oh, sorry during the whole auscultation of the apex, more than twenty or thirty cardiac cycles. Two or three out of twenty is so the doctor cannot be sure. But you need to auscultate this patient maybe uh, in different positions and even if such uh, such uh, small suspicion we command him to uh, underwent the echocardiographic investigation did you undergo? <laughs> never <coughs> next semester it will stay together for next semester I explained about echocardiography and I used to invite students to the echocardiographic uh, laboratory and show them the investigation. So you can remind me to be patient for this e excursion. Okay. So we, we can, we can. But uh, if I will not, if I will refuse to this small uh, um, small uh, abnormality, the conclusion will be like following. First point of quotation, S1 of normal loudness, not splitted, no extra sounds, no murmurs. Second and third point of quotation, S2 of normal loudness, not splitted, no extra sounds, no murmurs. S4, uh, sorry, a fourth point of rotation, S1 of normal loudness, not splitted, no extra sounds, no murmurs. The rhythm of hard sounds is regular. <laughs> Once more, okay. First point of rotation, S1 of normal loudness, not splitted, no extra sounds, no murmurs. Second and third point of quotation, S2 of normal loudness, not splitted, no extra sounds, no murmurs. The fourth point of quotation, S1 of normal loudness, not splitted, no extra sounds, no murmurs. The same for all points. No need to, to write so long. Use shortenings. The rhythm of hard sounds is regular. How do I know, for example, in the second point of quotation, what is the loudness of S2? How, how, do, I, how do I evaluate the loudness of S2? Quad, please. Check up quad, please. Paham? Compared to S1. Oh, Bagos student, Bagos. Of course. We evaluate only one sound, sounds loudness. But we use another sound as a scale. On the apex, S1, we compare the loudness with S2. If S1 is louder, this is normal loudness. If equal or weaker, this is weak S1. Same on the base, second and third point of rotation. If S2 is louder than S1, this is normal loudness. If same or less, this is weak S2. And same on the, in the first, fourth point of rotation. In the fifth point of rotation, Additional point for outer valve. The loudness of S2 and S1 is usually the same, so we do not evaluate the loudness of basic sounds in the fifth point of rotation. It is used for extra sounds and marmots only. And one small additional thing. If on the apex S1 is much more louder than S2, we can speak about uh, increased S1. For example, by mitral stenosis. <coughs> mitral stenosis. And on the base of the heart, it can be that on the aorta, S2 is louder than S1. And here, 
of S2 is larger than S1. But if you go back and compare S2 on Feynman re is louder than S2 on our term. In this case, you speak about accent of S2 over the hour term. Is this clear? And same, the accent of S2, sorry, over the Feynman triangle. And if aorta is louder than pulmonary, by normal loudness of S2 in both points, you can speak about accent on the aorta. Everything's clear? What? What is not clear? Compare the accent of the pulmonary and the aorta. Accent A, C, C, D, and here accent. Accent. Accent in French. Accent. Do speak French? Do speak French? German? No. Spanish? No. Italian? Chinese? Yes. At least Chinese. Baham Bahasos Kina. China. 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 China.